Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I did a pour yesterday that I absolutely adored, or I posted it today. So this will be a day or two later because I have to wait on things to dry. But um, I just had to keep going with this color scheme and I'm adding a copper bronze mixture. So I'm using Liquitex Basics Prism Violet. This one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Hue, even though it is turquoise. They call it cobalt. I've got Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, the 8 ounce tub. This is 24 karat gold, which is spectacular. Then I have a 50 50 mixture of Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic with this is the uh, Americana Outdoor Living, and it's picket fence, so it's not bright white, but it's close to a bright white. And that is eggshell finished, and or a satin finish, either way. So Millie D, who's inspired me to do this cloud effect kind of painting, she uses the Americana, and it's a satin finish, and this is Outdoor Living, which is an eggshell finish. So eggshell and satin are the same finish. So either one will work. I just wanted to let you know that. I haven't been able to get the other, but I have been able to get the Outdoor Living, which it doesn't matter on that. It's just a satin or eggshell finish. So that's 50-50 with the white. And this color is made up between uh, Creative Inspiration's Metallic Copper, which comes from Jerry's Artorama, and Liquitex Basics Bronze, which is, you know, kind of more of a pinky bronze color. So I've mixed those together for that color. And I'm going to use Liquitex Pouring Medium instead of Floetrol or anything else. Liquitex Pouring Medium and water. And there is no specific amount that Melody really says. She just eyeballs, eyeballs it and so will I on this. I'm also, this is iridescent medium, which has a shimmer to it, and I don't know if you can see it in the cap, but it's got some sparkles to it. And I'm going to add a little bit to this purple, and I don't know if it will help it shimmer or not, but I just thought I'd give it a try because I had some on hand. So we're going to see. I'm going to mix that into my purple very quickly. So when you're doing any pour, it's always a good idea to mix your colors with the pouring medium first, or if you're using Floetrol or glue or whatever you might be using, always mix your paint with your pouring medium first. Get it well mixed and then add water last. That gives your, chance, your paint a chance to bind with the pouring medium. So I do see a little bit of shimmer in that, so I'm hoping it'll dry with a little bit more shimmer. These are metallics, so it should be really pretty. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put in, I'm just going to cover the surface of the turquoise there. I just put down some clean butcher paper, so I'm trying to keep it as clean as I can, but I'm going to have drips on here. I'm going to cover this one. I'm going to put a little more in this one. And I'm going to cover this one. And a little more in the white because it's a larger quantity of paint. And then the rest will be water. So the first thing I'm going to do is just stir all these up real quickly and then I'll add water in a minute. So I'm going to speed through this process. Okay, I'm done mixing, and I wanted to show you the painting I had done 
prior to this one, this is um, dry. It's a 14 by 18. And this is how it turned out, which I actually really love. It was a tree ring pour using this Liquitex pouring medium and the satin enamel in the white like Melly D does, but then I also used a balloon and smashed and just absolutely love this effect. So my goal is to do it again with stronger vivid colors and less white and just see what happens. So I'm going to put this one aside. This canvas is 16 by 20. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm also going to put down a puppy pad underneath just to try to catch a little bit of my drips. So I need, for a 16 by 20 canvas, I need 12 ounces of paint. So what I'm going to do first is just take regular white mixture. And this is just my 50-50 white with Artist Loft. So this is a, this does not have the Liquitex pouring medium in it or the enamel. It's just Artist Loft white flow acrylic. I'm going to use my Wilton icing fondant spreader, which is in my Amazon link, as is a lot of these other things that I use. So I just want a wet coat of paint just to help with coverage. So I don't want any of the top dry. It does not have to be a perfect coat, but I do want some wet paint on the surface of the whole canvas. I'll even take it around the sides. So this white I'm going to put aside. That's not the white that I'm using for the pour. And then I'm going to take a 12 ounce cup and I'm going to fill it to the brim. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and start pouring colors. And I'm doing it in a kind of a gradient fashion. I'm going to be generous with the purple. And it does have quite a bit of sparkle with that iridescent medium added to it. That's kind of pretty. Now I'm going to add the copper. I'm just using uh, bits and pieces, and there's no particular order. So I have very, very little white in this cup. And these are beautiful colors. Can you see the metallics? I don't know if you can see the shimmer. All right. So I'm going to just start pouring it basically in the center. And I'll try to do kind of an, a loose 
circular pattern. I'll switch it up and go the other way. And then back again. And I mentioned something about the odor on the last one, but when I opened up the enamel paint, the Deco Art enamel paint, it had an odor. So it may have been the Deco Art and not the pouring medium that had the odor. It is so beautiful in this cup. It's just gorgeous. All right. Then my goal is to do something special with these paints on the next video. So it's looking pretty good and I'm going to... I didn't want the white to totally take over and I'm hoping it won't. I'm just popping any bubbles. There is no silicone in it. And then I'm just going to start kind of making a circular pattern. See that white, even the little bit of white I used is very strong. I'll go off this corner first and then this one. And back here. thing about rectangle, rectangular canvases is you have the issue of that rectangular effect, but it is what it is. So I just got to decide composition-wise where I want it to be. And I really want to preserve the metallics as much as I can. So I'm going to leave these corners the way they are. So what I did last time was I smashed the balloon and I'm hoping when I do that, that it'll bring those metallics through again. That's what I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed. So we're going to give it a try right off the get-go. About right here. It's always beautiful on the balloon. Zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to scoot because I'm going to take my balloon smash and put it on a canvas panel this time. So maybe what I'll do is just turn this. All right. So now when I smash, I can put it back over here. It's beautiful on the balloon. I also want to try a smaller one.
I don't know that that's large enough. near those jewel tones there. Well, I can say that the white is extremely strong, even though I didn't use, but maybe an eighth of a cup, something like that, of white. It is super strong, and it's still, you know, spread pretty easily. I slid that one. <laughs> it's so pretty on the balloon. Got some purple out there. leave that purple there and go right back into the paint. But that's too light, so you just really have to experiment. I'm going to go near this metallic edge here. Bring that over in here. I'm 
I'll redo this one. I kind of don't like that puddle there. I'm going to leave this one be, but it's pretty. It almost looks like a bunch of um, jellyfish from the top side. Stuck my fingers in the side. I'm going to turn it. Filling in some areas that went down pretty low to the canvas. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to let the rest of it just kind of creep back. That one's really pretty there. Um, I really want to smash in the metallics. I'm afraid to, but you know, you really don't know unless you take the risk. I just did a little bit there. I'll leave that the way it is. Okay, so I think I'm going to call this one done. And it's going to change like the other one changed. It will change. And hopefully, if anything, the metallics just stay strong. Or come out stronger. There's some areas where you, the canvas is showing. Just seeing if I could soften that a bit. So I'm going to call this one done. Well, let me heat it just to see if anything interesting pops up. Nothing popped up, but I scraped my uh, heat gun through it. So, just trying to fix that. I 
But I'm pretty pleased with this. It's, it's different. It's unique, and I really like it. And I'm just going to try to pick it up without getting fingerprints on the sides. So this one almost has more of an underwater sea urchin kind of effect. I don't know, but I do love it. I love this whole effect. So I'm happy with it. I'm going to run with it and call it done. So I'm going to move it out of the way. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below my video. There's the Amazon link with all the products I use and PayPal, Patreon. I, there is a Facebook group page of mine that has 8,000 members in it. Come join me over there and you can post pictures and comments and that kind of thing. You can find me on Instagram. And also, if you would like to join and become a channel member, there's a join button down beside the subscribe button. That just makes you a channel member of mine. And I do one exclusive live stream video once a month for the members only where they can chat with me and ask questions and that kind of thing on a more personal level. There's only a small group of people in it at this point. And so you, we get to chat back and forth and it's only for members. And that's $4.99 a month. But otherwise, I'm still going to bring you new videos every day or most every day. And so just keep looking for beautiful paintings. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.